Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. This is hard. This is really, really, really hard. Um, pause. And that is trying to get 12 videos in one day. Now, technically, I did put a video on my other channel. So that's actually 11 with this one, which means that, wait a minute, hold it, no, hold it, wait, wait. I needed three more. So I take that one and then this one. Then that means technically I would actually have 12, not on this channel, but I'd have 12. Be that as it may, um, we're working on it, and let me, I, I, I need to count up and find out how many actually I do have. <sighs> but I'm tired, boss. I'm real tired. I'm real tired of waiting for the season to get here. But something that was said to me by Walker Wade, shout out to Walker Wade. And here's the great thing I can say about Walker Wade is Walker Wade and I don't agree on the Cowboys and Dak Prescott and everything else. But the thing that's cool about it is him and I could still have a conversation. It's not F you man, you know, or anything like that because we don't agree with each other. And another point here too, because I've been noticing in the chat that people are saying you're deleting my comments. Well, understand something here. Um, we have some people whose kids watch the channel. Okay. Now, I'm not deleting them. I'm not reading them and then deleting them. What it is is there are key words that automatically get taken out and held for review. So, you know, the F words and, uh, you know, the C words and stuff. You, you guys know the kind of stuff. So if you come in here and say you're a blank to blank to blank to blank, blank to blank. So, yes, that will not show. It won't show. It just won't. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of people out there that just want to live for chaos. And, you know, you're free to live that way, but not necessarily in my house. So understand there are things. So if you keep stuff above board, it's not going to be that it's going to get blocked. But that's automatic. So I now understand because I always hear about... Um, Eagle fans are always constantly saying, I got blocked, I got blocked. No, your trashy-ass mouth won't allow it to be shown. So be a human being, and you'll see your stuff. Be that as it may. Um, Walker Wade was saying that don't expect the Cowboys to do any contracts before November. Let me say it again. Um, his thing, I think he got it from Brian Brodus and stuff, that basically... The Cowboys are looking at taking the hits this year and then taking the hits, of course, next year, uh, or excuse me, taking the current hits this year and starting all over. Although I will say that I wouldn't be surprised with Dak Prescott if they waited till next year to do it, to take that $55 million hit now and um, then they're only dealing with the $40 million next year. So that's a possibility. And... Micah Parsons, the Cowboys doing a deal a year before they're actually forced to without a franchise tag, I never expected that one to get done. Um, C.D. Lamb, though, I do think that they're going to have to get that one done just to get him whole and on board. Now, technically, they don't have to. They could end up making him play on what he's doing right now and then franchise tag him. But hypothetically... Hypothetically, I'm not sure what the franchise tag price would be next year, but with everybody now in the 30s, I've got to think that it's got to be like 30 million plus. So, to dispel that, if you think about 18 million dollars for this year, 18 million for this year, basically, it's 17 point something, I think, 18 million for this year, and then another 30, then you're actually talking about 58 million. Listen to me right now. If you do C.D. Lamb right now, who's currently $17 million, if you just give him Justin Jefferson's contract, it would end up being $9 million you'd save this year. Okay? $9 million. Basically, $8 million you'd pay this year. 
and then his number next year, his number next year is 15. That That's for Justin Jefferson. So that's $23 million. And oh, by the way, you save $9 million on this year. So take that $9 million from the 23, and you've got $14 million it would cost. So waiting until next year and franchise tagging him would be $58 million for the next two years. Or effectively $14 million if you signed him right now. And this is where I'm just kind of like, I don't understand. I, I just don't understand why the Cowboys have not gotten any of these things done. And um, whether or not they will. Now, there's some thought that the Cowboys may. And this is where we've heard everything. We've heard Dak Prescott was the priority and will get paid first. We've heard CeeDee Lamb is the priority and will get paid. We've heard now that nobody's going to get paid before November um, and so on. So, literally, they have covered all the bases. Now, the crazy thing is, I think I've said this a couple times. I've probably said the same thing quite a few times. <sighs> yeah, because it's been a long day. It's been a really long day. Um, and it's hard trying to get out content like this because literally it's almost a video an hour but you know i'm gonna try and do the best i can i got an hour and a half left to try and get two more in but it feels like my analogy is we're all in the middle of the desert the desert is the news right and we keep looking and looking and looking for stories but there is no stories to talk about it's all a mirage. There is no stories going on. So we just got to make through. We got a week and a half till the Cowboys are in camp. And um, hopefully, hopefully we can get there. Whew. Wouldn't it be cool if tomorrow we woke up and we hear that the Cowboys got CD Lamb done before training camp? And um, that he's going to be happy, he's going to be there, and they're going to start all of a sudden doing some work, and maybe they actually go through and sign a couple of players to help make this team a little bit better. But then again, um, I guess this is kind of like Game of Thrones, where um, I can't remember. I can't ever remember anybody's name, but... The, the white haired guy with the dragon and everything else. He's got marital problems and he's over at hang, uh, Heron Hall having the hallucinations and stuff, you know, because the uh, Red Queen, the witch, is kind of putting all kinds of spells and crazy shit in his head. Yeah, that guy. I, I guess that's kind of like what's going on with me and the Cowboys that <laughs> we're all delusional having these weird dreams of things that we wish would happen or might happen, but won't happen. All right, good people. Scratch another one off the list. Whew. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Peace.